Welcome back to another segment of The DLA in the News DLA, Parker Aerospace Cut Ribbon for Cost Saving Partnership February 22, 2023 Article written by Dawn Bonsall, DLA Distribution Public Affairs Officer New Cumberland, Pennsylvania Defense Logistics Agency Distribution Commander Navy Rear Admiral Grafton D. Chase Jr., officiated a ribbon-cutting ceremony on Hill Air Force Base, Utah, marking the third Defense Logistics Agency public-private partnership between DLA and Parker Aerospace, on February 9. Chase, along with Carl Kubert, Parker Aerospace's Vice President of Military Aftermarket, officially cut the ribbon on the PPP, along with Air Force Colonel Jason Okamura, DLA Aviation at Ogden, Utah, James MacArthur, DDHU Director, Mark Strawn, DLA Aviation Ogden, Utah, and Joe Saffron, DLA Distribution Business Development. The largest DLA PPP in terms of scope, financial impact and number of supported weapons systems, this partnership also represents two DLA major subordinate commands working together to support the warfighter. DLA Aviation created the $444 million weapons system, performance-based logistics contract with Parker Aerospace, and DLA Distribution is supporting Parker Aerospace's ability to fulfill that contract through the PPP for warehousing. Student clients, this is another reaction brought to you by the DLA Guru. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying this particular article, uh, DLA Parker Aerospace Cut Ribbon for Cost Saving Partnership. Uh, my first thoughts and going through this article and just um, kind of absorbing some of the content here uh, was, the, uh, was the DLA's partnership with a large prime, uh, Parker Aerospace. Uh, of course, uh, DLA Distribution, um, is definitely a, uh, an agency within the DLA that as a small business or medium-sized business or a large business for that matter, uh, you want to reach out to DLA distribution, uh, distribution services and just to inquire on how you can get involved at this level of supporting the warfighter from an aviation um, uh, equipment supply perspective. Uh, but linking back to Parker Aerospace, um, if you're interested in getting in contact with primes that have like these huge contracts with the DLA uh, to, to support weapon systems, um, my first thought is I'm going to go ahead and copy Parker Aerospace's information. You know, of course, you can Google Parker Aer Aerospace and, and try to kind of work, work your magic and getting in contact with Parker Aerospace from a, I guess, a um, small business perspective to see if they have any, um, you know, uh, any, any types of subcontracting opportunities. Um, but I wanted to show you the power of SEI Global. Uh, I don't talk a whole lot about SEI Global as it relates to these reactions, but anytime there's an opportunity to do it, I wanna kind of show you guys how powerful uh, this, this particular uh, software, online software tool is. And um, let me go ahead and log into uh, SEI Global here into their Logicom portal. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll do a quick search for a company named Parker Aerospace and just kind of see what comes back from the query. And as I'm going through all the different companies in here, I'm going to go ahead and put this down to 100 um, results on here. And you'll see Parker Hannafin. You see a lot of Parker Hannafin here, Parker Hannafin Corporation Aerospace Group. Um, and so... Um, let's see, I want to go, let's go to one more page. I'm just going to go over to one more page. I want to make sure this is the same company. Uh, and again, this is a, a complete reaction to it, like live off the fly. I didn't uh, do any um, preemptive um, review of this prior. So Parker, Hanna, uh, Parker Hannafin Aerospace. Let's, let's go ahead and click into this particular uh, cage code here, uh, which this is 92003. And um, we got Parker Hannafin Corporation Aerospace Group Headquarters. I'm not exactly sure if this is the same Parker Aerospace that's talked about in the article, but I think this is definitely a good start uh, because their headquarters, they're headquartered in Irvine, California. And SEI Global's uh, opportunity, uh, I'm sorry, Logicom software is so comprehensive that 
uh, just with a, with a few clicks of the mouse button, you're able to get and do a deep dive and get real information about a company that's registered within the DLA's system as far as having national stock numbers that are really available um, uh, to the DLA. And as you can see on the screen here, you got the phone number uh, to, to, to put a phone call in. And a lot of times when you scroll down, you may be able to get some points of contact information, but I imagine Parker Hannafin is so large that they probably are looking, you know, looking for companies to more or less just kind of give them a call. Um, but at least this phone number is there, or you can also Google it uh, and, and probably find the same information on their website. But this is just kind of one step in the right direction as it relates to getting in contact with a prime vendor. Um, not a really good example of the power of uh, SCI Global's Logic Comm software because Parker Hannafin doesn't have a whole lot of information uh, as it relates to um, uh, you know information regarding contract uh, how you can get in contact with them via email and things of that nature. Um, but I wonder if there's another cage code that they have. Yeah, you can see here there are like multiple cage codes here as, as well. So that's nine two zero zero three, which you just checked. Let's try this 9005. Um, here's another uh, Parker Aerospace uh, filtration division, which may have some affiliation to what's going on with the DLA's contract. So, you know, here, uh, you know, this company has been registered within uh, uh, doing business with the federal government since 1947. Um, and then, um, you know, there's a, there's a website, parker.com, of course. And as we're getting down in here, you know, guide it missile components and whatnot. This this division of Parker Hannafin may actually be a little closer tied to the actual article itself. Um, but again, the power of you know, um, um, SCI Global's Logicom, where we, we're now scrolling down and kind of getting into some actual email addresses of, of, you know, of stakeholders that may have some understanding or some relationship from a program management perspective of this massive contract that the DLA has with Parker um, uh, Aerospace. You know, anyway, this is just a quick reaction of some of the things that I, as, as we do in internally, whenever there are opportunities to kind of uh, find information, because the key to success with the DLA and working with your vendor base is just he who controls the information has the biggest chance of like pulling in the big fish. And, um, so yeah, I just wanted to, let me go back over to uh, the article here, but yeah, I just wanted to react in that way to show you uh, that how this information of these articles, hopefully they're they're inspiring you guys and, and getting you motivated, but how you can leverage some of the information in these articles and actually find opportunities for your small business or medium or large business to do, um, to, to work with prime vendors in support of the DLA, which is the large, the world's largest customer. Uh, hopefully again, you enjoyed the article. So I'm going to switch back over and, and let, uh, let the article uh, complete. And um, I'll see you on the other side. Thanks again for watching. The caption as shown reads, Defense Logistics Agency Distribution Hill, Utah, is storing Parker Aerospace material, including brakes and actuators for five legacy aircraft directly facing the maintenance activity at Ogden Air Logistics Center on Hill Air Force Base. As with all PPPs, the material, including brakes and actuators for five legacy aircraft, is stored inside the wire in DLA Distribution Hill Utah's warehouse, directly facing the maintenance activity at Ogden Air Logistics Center. This expedites parts delivery to the maintenance line, and in the end, gets the planes back to the warfighter faster. The partnership also increases the Defense Department and DLA's organic network utilization. The five-year combination of defense working capital fund revenue, cost avoidance and cost reduction is $1.7 million. Section 883 of the 2017 N.D.A. A. Authorized DLA to create five pilot PPPs for storage and distribution services support to a contractor in support of the production, modification, maintenance, or repair of a weapon system. The DDHU, Parker Aerospace PPP marks the successful execution of all five pilots. This now concludes another edition of the NMS e-learning systems, the DLA in the news. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 
and hit the notification bell, so that you can always be abreast of new audio narration segment releases, brought to you by the DLA Guru. Thanks again for watching. I'm Parker Winslow, signing out. Thanks for watching. Also, if you find my related content inspiring, please show your support by hitting the like, share, and subscribe button, along with the notification bell, so that you can be alerted when I drop new relevant content to empower you for success with the DLA. Also, by doing so, you'll help me reach a larger audience of people who may be also interested in learning more about government contracting and doing business specifically with the world's largest customer, the Defense Logistics Agency. Also, please don't forget to check out my flagship masterclass, Eight Steps to Successful Federal Supply Contract Bid Submissions to the DLA. This masterclass provides a balanced approach to virtual education and is designed for both beginners and seasoned companies alike, with proven techniques on the best way to position your organization to being successful with winning federal supply contracts with the DLA. The masterclass contains three and a half hours worth of content, along with proprietary and recommended software tools designed to empower you for success with the DLA. Check out the links provided in the description below to learn more today.